Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and welcome back to our Town Hall 12 Let's Play here on the Klaus Gaming YouTube channel, your source of Clash of Clans content, tips, tricks, and of course, entertainment. Now, today on this Town Hall 12 Let's Play, I'm super stoked because I finally got enough Dark Elixir to upgrade a hero. Or at least I'm close, okay? I need 206,000 Dark Elixir. I'm sitting just under 200,000, and I've got a little bit in my treasury so that's really really exciting um today's gonna be a good day anytime you can upgrade a hero it's exciting and then i've also got an option here i'm not sure if i'm gonna do it but the trader is sitting on a book of heroes he's only gonna have it for another two hours so i need to decide am i gonna invest the 500 gems or not i guess like i said we'll decide later on today um also laboratory is going strong we've actually got 13 days left roughly until the giants are done so we don't really have to focus too much about that. I did about a boost or so off camera to get us to this point. So I've got a lot of gold, but I'm struggling to get elixir. That's something that I've been <laughs> struggling with. So I'm using the gigabarts, as I said before. So let's go smack a few bases. Now, this is actually going to be significantly stronger right now because I have the Grand Warden. Okay, so that's the problem with this particular strategy. And ooh, lots of dark elixir on this base. Let's attack this base um, with this particular strategy. We actually struggle for elixir um, unless you have a warden. If you have a warden, then you can keep your troops alive through like the first initial set of giant bombs and eagle artillery shots and things like that so let's just try this out let's first grab this dark elixir uh out of the drills let's go barbarians arches i'm gonna go ahead and just sniggle in a few more uh goblins in here too so that should be all that dark out of there awesome so now we're gonna aim for this dark elixir in this storage so let's uh start by slapping down a few giants let's get the wall wrecker let's get the rest of the giants i'm actually gonna put down the rest of the barbarians and the rest of the archers but we're gonna hold a little bit for the uh, for the goblins, okay? Make sure everybody goes in nicely, all right? And I'm actually going to set a jump, a heal, and a rage, and now set the goblins so that they go into the core. Let's also get another rage. Let's get a freeze and a poison, and then the warden special ability early so that that uh, eagle artillery does not actually destroy my goblins. So there we go. That is everything that we needed there. Let's actually get a freeze over that town hall because we have bowlers in our CC, not Valkyries. But that'll be just fine. And there you go. We've gutted the core, which is amazing. Um, and we actually not, we don't have a lot left. Like, really, we're doing okay. I'm actually going to drop a rage out here on this outside just to get the queen uh, under rage. And we still have the queen's ability here too. So this is going to work out great. But there you go. So basically, once again, and I, I said this last episode, but uh, basically, Gigabarch is like a beefy goblin knife. Like, it can just get in there and get the job done. But the problem is, without the Warden, it's still flimsy, okay? It's not like it's not like a go wipe, where you can just, like, throw it down and you expect it to just go in automatic for a while. It's not like that at all. You're still going to struggle to get loot unless you have all of your heroes. But, right now, I've got all my heroes. And I just admitted to you guys, I'm struggling to get Elixir, particularly right now. So I don't expect to upgrade the warden for a while, so we're going to be able to take advantage of that and um, get our upgrades going. So there we go. Queen's going to grab a little bit more gold, and then she'll get shot down by this cannon before the eagle artillery shots come down. And that, my friends, will be the two-star. And th th that's, look at that. Another example of n not getting very much elixir. I probably should, like, focus more on Elixir, but I can't help it. I focus on Dark Elixir. It's what I focus on. So um, Dark Elixir was amazing. Though. Look at that. 7,700 Dark Elixir. That's a lot of Dark Elixir. And then with the loot bonus, you're looking at over half a million gold as well. And gold is super important because I've got, like, loads of upgrades that I need to do. But I don't have a whole lot of resources right now. Basically, I decided, you know what? I'm going to film because I've got the Dark Elixir. I don't want to run the risk of maxing out my Dark Elixir storage. So let me quickly donate some... What's my request say, actually? It says Valkyries or Bowlers. I should probably just change that to say Valkyries, right? Uh, but all right. So thank you, Dear Down, for the Valkyries and the Raid Spell. And... I'm assuming also the wall wrecker. I don't know. I didn't see who donated the wall wrecker, but thank you so much for the dono. And now let's try to find another base. Um, and that'll work. That'll work. Actually, that's really great. Um, check this out. It's a uh, a non-maxed town hall 
So that's great. That means no Gigabomb. And uh, basically everything's on this side. So I'm thinking about creating a funnel up here and diving in. As long as I get in here, I'm going to get the Dark Elixir Storage and a couple of the Elixir Storages. Now, where's the other Elixir Storages? They're on the outsides. Okay. Odds are we won't actually be able to uh, be able to reach that. But let's just try this, okay? So Giant straight across the outside. Wall Wrecker, nice and early. We have some Hog Riders in the CC. That's not a big deal. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, you know, I'll poison on one side for the fun of it. And then let's actually drop a heal and a rage leading into the core and now some wall breakers to break through there as well. Let's get a rage spell and let's get the goblins going down there. All right. And then a jump, a freeze and a rage. Very nice. All right. So we have ran into a tornado trap, but it doesn't matter. The goblins will handle all that elixir in that storage. That was very nice. Let's go ahead and freeze over that eagle again. Very nice. All right, and then actually the uh, the wall wrecker. I've already used everything. Uh, the wall wrecker is still alive. This is awesome because then it's going to deposit some fresh Valkyries, and we're going to wipe out a couple of things. At least get that eagle artillery down for the achievement. There we go. Nice. So and actually, wow, look at that. We got lucky. We got one of the extra elixir storages. That was pretty good. Um, I didn't prioritize the town hall side because I just didn't really care to, but I probably should have actually. Now that I, hindsight is twenty twenty, right? I got a little bit greedy because I saw that the elixir was out there too, but uh, we didn't get the town hall, so we didn't get the loot bonus. And honestly, in Champion League, the loot bonus is kind of a big deal. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just about a. That's about as good as you can expect. If you're attacking a base and you have no heroes, okay? Zero heroes equals a bad day, okay? Just simply a bad day. So, um, all right. So that was the raids. Well, I feel like I'm supposed to be getting some free loot. Okay, research potion. Don't care for using that. Um, I've had some really actually massive uh, raids. Look at this one. Like, Right, check this out. We're going to check out a replay today, okay? So this one was one of those where I've got my king and my queen. No warden because, you know, the warden was upgrading. Couple of giants down. He's gonna sniggle in, take out these dark loot drills on the left, and then on the right. There's a couple of giants down in there just to distract, and like five goblins. And there goes that drill down there. And the last drill is actually up top, and then the storage is in line, basically between that dark loot drill and the town hall is the storage. Bad base design, especially if you're expecting to be hit by ground. All right. So we got our wall breaker, our giants, our barbarians. Here comes the wall breakers, and then there's the archers, and then finally. We have the, uh, the goblins, but check it out. We got a baby dragon in the CC. I don't remember noticing that, to be honest. Uh, yeah, see, look at that. The queen took care of it with it before I even put down a poison spell. That's hilarious. But yeah, so single targeting infernos everywhere. I didn't even consider freezing them because it was so fast. Like I, I, we walked right into three freezes, and I built, or, I'm sorry, three infernos, and I only had two freezes. So I'm like, oh well. Whatever they destroy, it's it is it's whatever. Uh, but the <laughs> wall record comes in, explodes, and Valkyries are gonna pop out of here. We're gonna gut this entire core. We've already got all the dark elixirs. So with that loot bonus, this one was over seven thousand dark elixir once again, and that, my friends, is just glorious. The dark elixir has been, like I said earlier, the dark elixir has been easy to grab, but the elixir has it. And oh, I think I missed my queen's ability. I'm sorry, queen. I didn't mean. I didn't mean to do that to you, Queen. Um, yeah, that wasn't the plan at all. Uh, but yeah, so 96,000 Elixir, but 5,900 Dark Elixir plus loot bonus. So yeah, it's been uh, it's been interesting. And actually, Maximus makes me wonder. I have a friend named Maximus. I, that may be a friend of mine. I, I need to probably message him and be like, yo, did I attack you like a few days ago? Because... I'm afraid I may have. But <laughs> I didn't take a lot of your Elixir, so you're welcome, buddy. <laughs> Anyway, so back to the progress, okay? That's what it's all about. Uh, we got the loot. I did, again, about a boost, maybe two. I don't remember. I did a lot of attacks last night. And uh, so we need to um, actually spend the loot. Actually, you know, enjoy the spoils of our labor. So to upgrade the king, we would need 206,000 Dark Elixir. Now, I actually do have exactly 206,537 like I'm just above and I'm gonna go and collect my treasury anyway so that we can see the extras and maybe can I afford to upgrade the queen no so close 220,000 upgrade the queen so I don't quite have that uh, but I do have the king enough for the king and I need to catch him up he's level 53 or he will be level 53 the queen only level 55 so let's go ahead and upgrade this queen or this king guys 206,000 dark elixir 7 to upgrade it 3 2 1 bam it is so hard to, it's so hard to sit back and see that and go, dang, that was hours of work and it's gone. 
<laughs> right? Hours of work for the Dark Elixir and it is now gone. It feels like a waste. But I mean, hey, the, the more you do that, the closer you get to max heroes. And that is ultimately the goal, right? That's ultimately the goal. You want to get as high up as you possibly can. So, Dark Elixir settled. We're done with the Dark Elixir. The Elixir, I'm going to hold on to it. I don't have a lot of it. I'm having a hard time getting it, so we're just going to keep it. So what about gold, right? Um, I have several different traps here. Some I did yesterday. So I can actually upgrade this uh, Seeking Air Mine right now for 4 million to max it. But then I wouldn't have a lot of loot. So let's just go, let's just go in with the cheaper stuff first, okay? Uh, we have two spring traps. They need to be upgraded several times to max them out. So let's go and upgrade both of them in three, two, one, bam. And we'll actually do both of these. There we go. And then this air bomb also needs to be upgraded one time. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I dang it. I, did, I wasn't paying attention. I just used up my fifth builder. I, I guess, I, I mean, I could buy the Book of Heroes. I could, I could buy it, but then, but then what? I mean, if I buy the book of heroes from this trader, then I would need to use the book, but then I'd have my king back. That'd be nice, but that's 500 gems. I've only got 2,400. I'm feeling conservative, but I also want to max out that seeking air mine. Oh, the, ch the choices, man, the choices. Well, okay. So both of those spring trap builders will be done tomorrow. Okay. They're only 24 hour upgrades. So what that means is that I could just be patient one day and then I'll have a couple of builders back, right? And I save my gems for a more impressing upgrade, maybe, and that'll be good. So I think that we're going to wait. Um, what level, just curious, what level is max for spring traps here? I don't see any. Oh, they're on. They're way over here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> level five. Okay. Level five is max for spring traps right now. And these are going to level three. Yeah. So they're a long way away from maxed out. So I think that those were the upgrades that needed to be done today for sure. Now I've got 4 million gold, so I could maybe do this Seeking Air Mine upgrade tomorrow. We'll just have to see, so. But that was good. Uh, obviously the, 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 like the highlight of this video, the highlight of the upgrades of this video was the Barbarian King upgrade, right? That's huge, that's awesome. There's only 15 at Tunnel 12, and that's one of them. So that's, that's good stuff, right? That's great, awesome. So after all that lovely, lovely progress has been put in the pocket of the base, it is now time for today's Comment question of the day. So today's comment question of the day comes from Donovan Lay. And the question is, what are the jobs of your co-leaders? What do they, what do you delegate to them? Because I am the leader of my clan. Um, is there anything that you do yourself? Like kicking people. <laughs> and uh, actually, I do a lot. Um, I, I don't do anything having to do with kicking though, okay? I'm the YouTuber, <laughs> I'm the guy people watch. So if um, if people, I'm just, I don't like the idea of kicking somebody out of my clan, okay? They're, they're, they're a subscriber, they're, they're awesome, and to kick them out of the clan would just feel bad. So I let the co-leaders do it. That way I'm innocent and I honestly, they do with their own discussing. If somebody's really messing up, like if somebody is really just a terrible clan mate, then they'll discuss it, and then if they agree, majority-wise, they'll kick the player. I don't even know about it half the time. More than half the time, I have no clue what's happening. Um, also, accepting people. I don't accept or I don't reject people. Again, because if like you're a subscriber and you want to join the clan, but you get rejected by me specifically, feels bad, man. So I actually let my co-leaders take care of all the accepting, all the rejecting, all of the... Um, the all the avenues of getting into the clan, they take care of that. However, I do the vast majority of the CWL work, um, not setting the roster, but like deciding whether we're going to do it here at Knights of Zion, or if we're going to move on to my second clan, Jericho Rising, which is empty. It's just kind of a place that we just have where we can go and kind of CWL in a lower league. Uh, so that's kind of my, my job. Also, um, making big decisions like bringing on new co-leaders, or if a co-leader needs to step down, I'd handle all that stuff. But honestly, my co-leaders are amazing. I love each and every one of them. Um, they're awesome because what they do, they do, they handle all the little stuff so that I can focus on making content for the channel. So special shout out to all of my co-leaders in my clan. And I could probably just, you know what, let's just do it right quick. Let's shout out Crackers and Armchair General and Sir Chillapup and uh, we are missing, we're missing, oh, there's Big D. Shout out to Big D. And then of course, shout out to Jesper or Papa Andy, and then lastly, shout out to Burtis. Okay, I think Burtis is off at an event right now. So all of my co-leaders are just absolute beasts. Thank you guys for everything that you do. I handle all the big picture stuff, they handle all the day-to-day -day stuff, and it works out just right. So uh, 
Donovan, thank you so much for your question today, the comment question of the day. If you guys that are watching want me to answer a question in a future video, then please do post the question down below in the comments section. Also, please like the video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button. Also, if you haven't already for daily gaming videos and um, turn on notifications so you can be one of the first to see the actual videos. Also, like I said at the beginning, be sure and check out my second YouTube channel, Class Media. The link is in the description. And last, but definitely not least, guys, go to the gears at the bottom right-hand side of your screen and hit more settings. Once again, at the bottom right, scroll to the very bottom and make sure that you are supporting a creator under Creator Boost. It doesn't cost you anything. If you don't do it, it's wasted and it disappears after seven days. So always double check before you make an in-game purchase. If you want to support me, use code Klaus. And that's it for me, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.